Hello and welcome to episode 49 of Bobo Scrabati Records. Yay! I thought we'd start off today in the Lorraine. I haven't bought the next one yet, the 51. Still in the 50. We have everything researched and we can buy it. I just, as you can see, haven't got enough cash. We bought the Hummel a little while ago and I'm saving for some equipment on there. So we're just going to be grinding some crews and trying to get some money up together. You can see that these guys are up on their first perk and have got their second one available, but I haven't bothered selecting a second one because they're going to be retrained soon. Um, and while this little plus is still there, they do still accrue the XP. So when you do put the perk on, it will shoot up to whatever XP you've earned, which is good. So they can stay like that. I've started to retrain the commander with six cents and started him off on camouflage again. And I feel that camouflage is probably the best thing for these guys to stay at and the most useful for the time being. Once the commander's second perk gets to 100%, I will retrain him in six cents and brothers in arms and then retrain all of these guys to brothers in arms first and then their second perk can be camouflage again. So even if their second perk isn't at 100%, they can start to work on the camouflage again because it's accumulative over time. So once we have the brothers in arms, that will really help with our loading time and our aim time and everything else, which is a must for RT in my opinion. I really think that you just, without it, it's, it's crippling as you've seen with the cases like the 212A and uh, the FV385 and just starting crews again and having to grind them up if you decide to keep a lower tier you kind of have to go through that grinding process again which is a bit of a pain but you get there in the end so yeah we'll uh we'll go out in this first or two and a half million and we'll see if we can actually do something useful so here we are on runeberg the normal one we've got 53 percent chance to win so it's a tier 9 game, just. And I've come up with a little idea just to... Just to throw the other artillery off. What I do is I knock down that wall and knock down this one. So if they have a look, it looks like people have travelled. And then we will go back and we'll sit in line with this wall. It's annoying because the wall is just over far enough that you need to knock it down. But if you sit here you can get perfect shots in most artillery down this road and this road tends to get a lot of action most of the time now that I've said that we won't but we will wait and see if we need to get shots on the eastern flank we can just move forward just that little bit which is handy so Yeah, flight time. Damn that flight time. So we'll keep an eye on the cap then for a second. Don't know if this chappy's going to run or if he's going to sit there. No, he's going to run. Cool. We'll get pre-aimed in over here again. Just in case. If people do sit down here, sometimes you can't quite hit them. But... Sometimes you can when they poke their nose round, so that's good. It's an ISU. See so if we can get a shot on him. And that went really long. Wow. That doesn't normally happen with the French artillery, I have to admit. They're quite good. So that was surprising. Unfortunate, but never mind. I don't think this tiger is going to be too keen on pushing forward with the IS-2 there. Which is good, because if he comes back enough, we can actually get a shot on him. So, it looks like he is going to. And it looks like he's going to stay over this side, and we can't quite get a shot there. There we go, we managed to land something on him. He's not going to be too pleased with that. So, this 152 safe behind the building these guys have pulled back that eastern flank is not looking too healthy so let's see if we can get aimed in and give this guy a hand 
Yes, he's. Uh... Let's see if we can get one of these guns out of the equation. Oh, really? Damn it. Well, we managed to kill one at least. Let's keep an eye on these guys. If this T-34 can stay alive long enough for us to get reloaded. Oh, he's got a 122.44 on there as well. Bugger. Okay, we're coming up for a reload. I know the reload time is wrong. Don't think we managed. Bugger. Okay, we've got the potential to have to defend ourselves now. Because I don't think they're going to push through to the cap. I think they're probably going to come after the arty first. So. I haven't been spotted yet. And they are moving that way. So, I knocked that tree over with the intention that it looks like we are going further over than we are. And... Yes, I can't get any shots there, which is a pain because of the hill. So move forward a little bit, wait for this aiming circle again, and you guarantee that he's going to be able to move out of the way before we get aimed in. Well, we hit him at least. Okay, so... They might come up and look for us. Let's try and move out of range to be spotted. Ah, we've been spotted. That's not good. All right. Let's make a run for him. He's not going to miss again, but we need to try. Never mind wasn't much else I could do there really there's nowhere for us to run the only thing we could uh, do other than try and run is to attack him and I think if we had have run back along here he would have shot us just the same so I think it was a good decision there is only the two of them left I think the likelihood of us losing this is fairly slim we'll leave that there and we'll see what the results come back as hey so here's the results we did win in the end bugger all damage again Seems to be a recurring theme today. Never mind. A win's a win. Yeah. So, I think just to break things up a little bit, we'll go out in the KV2 and see if we can have a good game in this. Mm. So here we are on Erlenberg. And we're in a tier 8 game in a tier 6 heavy with like 76 mil of armor. Yeah. I think it's probably best for us to head this way because we can get some cover rather than be out in the open in this fairly slow machine. So we've got some people headed over this way with us. XVM doesn't like them very much. But meh, you never know. We've got a couple of good players on their team, from what I can see. Oh, this is slow through the water. Right, there we are. Let's try and keep them in a straight line. Hopefully we won't get spotted on the way over here, because we are out in the open. And at least there's no artillery. So we're not going to get blapped in the face. Looks like people are in good positions. The middle is open, but generally people don't come flying up the middle. They haven't really got any scouts on either team. I mean, we've got the Cromwell, which is could do a half decent job, and we've got the Lil AMX. But so we've got some people spotted over that side, and the Panther 2 over here is potentially on his own because he's running I think he'd be a little bit more keen to stay spotting if he had more people around him so it's just an assumption might not be true 
So I'm going to head up this way and see if we can get some shots in. I'm going to have to be careful of the likes of the T28. So, let's see if we can get aimed in on something here. This guy seems quite happy to sit still, so fully aim shot. That might have gone in. We don't know. What's the reckoning? Let's head forward a little bit and see if we can get some shots on something like the Panther or the 150. We are coming up for a reload. Wow, what was that? Let's back off. That was not cool. I don't think we're going to be able to pop out there again somehow. Okie dokie. It's going to have to play very cautiously now because we're pretty much a one shot for everybody. We're going to have to let our team try and push forwards. Might see if I can get a sneaky shot on something that gets spotted. We're going to have to rely on our team potentially spotting something and then being shot at. This is a bit risky. Yeah. There we are. So that's that. We'll leave that there then. Seeing as though the KV-2 didn't really go too well while it's still out, let's pop out in the Super Pershing and see if we can get Something better in this. Oh dear. So here are our mines. XVM's really liking us. It's a tier 8 game, which is good. And there's no artillery again. So I'm thinking of heading towards the hill. We are fairly slow. This is kind of like a heavy, even though it's a medium. Yes, I'm thinking of heading towards the hill. See if we can actually get up and around and into a decent position. If not, I was thinking of heading round and down the 8 line, possibly. But we'll wait and see what everyone else is doing. Looks like a lot of people are going to be pushing through the middle. So, seeing as though a lot of people are going to push through the middle, I'll head round and try and defend this flank a little bit. We don't want people coming around and flanking us if they're going to do a major push through the centre. So we've got the M6 coming with us. It's good, it's good. Wow, Pershing's already got here. Oh, really? See if we can get a shot on him. Can't. We only got the two with us. Oh, you silly moo. Wow, we're really not doing too well. We are kind of surrounded here. So, that's good. Not. Oh, we're screwed now. Someone, someone needs to help us. Someone really needs to help us. And soon. Ah, oh, blimey. We just got completely overrun there. He, 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 he. I couldn't pull back. Maybe just being the two of us. I wasn't expecting that many to come round there, to be honest with you. I think being with the two of us, maybe we should have played it a little bit less defensive, but... A little bit more defensive, sorry. Yes. Hmm. Bobo's luck doesn't seem to be too good. Well, the KV-2's back. We did bugger all damage, obviously. And it was a defeat again. Hmm. They did very well. <sighs> 
Super Pershing still out. So I think we've got time for one more. And we haven't been out in the Conqueror Gun carriage for a while, so let's go give him a go. So, Serene Coast. Fairly even teams again. You can see there's one artillery per team. So, yeah. With this 48 second reload time. See if we can actually land some shots and be useful for a change. It seems to be that these Friday afternoons aren't really a good time for me to play. <laughs> because I have good games a week. I mean, sometimes I have bad games a week, but I have good games a week. And for some reason, it's really difficult for me to remember the good games that I have on a Friday. I've got a funny feeling a lot of my episodes are ending up being bad games. And I apologise for that. I mean, at least it's truthful. And you can see that, you know, playing artillery isn't just kind of sip on a cup of tea, click the button, wait for reload. Like some people seem to think it is. And here I am, sat waiting to click a button. So we'll see if we can get something on Sky. And it went long. Brilliant. We'll move just in case the T92 decides to give us a pop. Got time with this reload being as big as it is. Doopy doo. So we've got. Pershing there, one Pershing's down, that IS-8's down, there's a Lerva, we are coming up for reload, so, uh, looks like he's going to move into cover, or not, looks like he might be sitting there, which is, could be good, so, let's pop a shot there, and we managed to land one. That's good. So let's get moved. I was really unsure of whether or not we were going to land that or not. Don't think it penned him. I think it burst on him. Hence why we did the 900 damage. Seems to be a lot of people over on this flank. Let's take a look and see if we can get any shots while we're waiting for reload. Yeah, there's an E100 and a mouse. Squeak. So, AMX 50B. Can't quite get a shot on the mouse. U100's in some decent cover there as well. Let's see if we can get a shot on the AMX if he reappears. Yeah, we know. Oh, he's moving back. That's not good. Okay. So, don't think we're going to be able to get a clean shot on these guys while they're there. We can if they move back, so that's cool. Hopefully, this T-34 will come spot something for us. Looks like that other flank pushed successfully. So, and we've landed one shot at least. Wait and see what gets spotted. They might be heading back to help protect the cap. Maybe regroup. Yeah, the M46 pattern has moved back. Looks like these guys will have done as well. So we'll kind of start to pre aim back a little bit. See if this. Yeah, there they go. Look. So they've moved back over this way. We'll wait for our aiming circle to come in and we'll see if we can get something on these guys. Oh, something didn't even track him. Looks like T92 had moved over this way as well. Not too worried about him at the moment. We know from experience how inaccurate he is while he moves. These guys, while they're here, are fairly in the open, so we might be able to get 
decent shots on them. Might be able to finish the C100 off. Or whittle the mouse down a little bit. Let's see, the mouse, bit of a dodgy shot. E100, bit more likely will land a shot. He's gone. Let's move over and see if we can get a shot on the mouse before he gets whittled down to nothing. There's something, we hit him in the front. And it looks like he's going to go down before we get a reload in. Oh, that was silly. Silly moo. Good game. So here's the results from the Super Persian game. We did 709 damage. <sighs> we did get severely overrun there. And they did manage to win in the end, the guys that pushed through the middle. Some of the ones from the other flank. Yeah, so that push that the enemy team did failed, and we made some money at least. Here's the results from the Conqueror gun carriage. We did 1,500 damage, which is, again, not very much for a tier 10, unfortunately. Seems to be the way of things just recently. Our pattern did an amazing job. And we didn't make a loss, so that's good. But, uh, yeah, we'll leave that one there for today. Hope you've enjoyed it seeing me be very, very bad at playing artillery. And uh, I will see you in the next one.